The Electricity Commission of New South Wales, sometimes called ELCOM, was a statutory authority responsible for electricity generation and its bulk transmission throughout New South Wales, Australia. The Commission was established on the 22nd of May 1950 by the Electricity Commission Act 1950 to take control of power generation in the state. The Commission acquired the power stations and main transmission lines of the four major supply authorities, Southern Electricity Supply, Sydney County Council, the Department of Railways and the Electric Light and Power Supply Corporation Limited, known as the Balmain Electric Light Company, to acquire the Balmain Power Station. The Commission was responsible for the centralised coordination of electricity generation and transmission in the state, and some local councils continued to be distributors of electricity only. History Formation and expansion The Electricity Commission of New South Wales was formed in 1950 to take over and manage electricity generation across the state, as part of the post-war reconstruction. Until then, power generation and distribution in the state involved a variety of authorities, the four major ones being Southern Electricity Supply, Sydney County Council, the New South Wales Government Railways NSWGR, and the Electric Light and Power Supply Corporation Limited, known as the Balmain Electric Light Company. Between 1936 and 1952, Sydney County Council was responsible for electricity generation and distribution in the city of Sydney, and operated the Bunurong and Piermont power stations until they were transferred to the Electricity Commission in 1952. In 1953, the Commission acquired the White Bay Power Station from the NSWGR. Under the Balmain Electric Light Company Purchase Act 1950, the Commission acquired the company's Balmain Power Station. Between 1950 and 1960, the Commission more than tripled power capacity in the state, from 490 to 1,800 megawatts. At first, this involved completing the expansion of Bunurong, White Bay, Balmain, and Piermont power stations, and constructing new power stations already designed by the NSWGR, Talawara near Port Kembla 1954, Wangi, at Lake Macquarie 1956, and Walarawang, near Lithgow 1957. Topic. Distribution restructure After the takeover of the generation functions by the Electricity Commission, the SCC and other municipal county councils became distributors of electricity only. The Prospect County Council was formed in 1957, as a spin-off from the Sydney County Council. In the early 1990s, eastern state governments prepared for the national electricity market and electricity deregulation. In 1989, the state government formed Sydney Electricity, to take control of electricity distribution from Sydney municipal councils. Prospect County Council became Prospect Electricity in 1991, and was responsible for retailing electricity to consumers in the Greater Western Sydney region and was controlled by local councils in the area. In 1996, Sydney Electricity was merged with Orion Energy to form Energy Australia. In 1996, Prospect Electricity was merged with Illawarra Electricity to form Integral Energy. Country Energy was formed on 1 July 2001 with the merger of New South Wales rural-based energy retailers, Great Southern Energy, Advance Energy and North Power. On 14 December 2010 Christina Keneally Labour Government sold the state's electricity retailing assets for $5.3 billion Australian dollars. The sales were as follows. 
Origin Energy bought Integral Energy, the retail division of Country Energy including the Country Energy brand, and electricity trading rights for Erraring Energy, for $3.25 billion. The remainder of Country Energy was rebranded as Essential Energy on 1 March 2011. Integral Energy and Country Energy continue to trade as subsidiaries of Origin Energy. Hong Kong listed True Energy bought the retail business of the government entity Energy Australia, including its name, the right to trade the output generated by Delta Electricity Power Stations west of Sydney, as well as three development sites, including one at the Mount Piper Extension near Lithgow and two at Marulan, for $2.035 billion. True Energy was also to provide an additional $240 million for capital improvements at the Wallarawang Power Station. Subsequently, on 2 March 2011, the government changed the name of the remainder of the government controlled Energy Australia to Ausgrid, and True Energy in 2012 changed its name to Energy Australia. Topic. Breakup and reform In the early 1990s, Australian state governments began to deregulate state-owned monopoly electricity commissions in order to promote competition, customer choice and potentially cheaper electricity. The commission adopted the trading name Pacific Power in 1992. The Electricity Commission was corporatised in 1995 as Pacific Power, Australia. In 1992, the coal mines owned and operated by Pacific Power were split off into a new government organisation called Elcom Collieries or Powercoal. In 2002, Centennial Coal acquired Powercoal for $306 million, to become the largest independent supplier of coal for power generation in the state. Centennial Coal was acquired by Thailand-based Banpu in July 2010 for US$2 billion, United States, and Powercoal continues as a subsidiary of Centennial Coal. Currently, Centennial operates five coal mines and exports approximately 40% of its coal. The balance supplies fuel to approximately 40% of the state's coal fired electricity. In 1995, the high voltage electricity transmission network was split off into a new government organization called Transgrid. The Terranora Interconnector, also known as Direct Link, commissioned in 2000 to link the New South Wales and Queensland power grids, was a joint venture of North Power, later Country Energy, Transenergy, a subsidiary of Hydro Quebec, and Fonds de Solidarité FTQ. A second link, the Queensland, New South Wales Interconnector, commissioned in 2002, is operated by Transgrid and Powerlink Queensland. In 2007, Australian Pipeline Trust, a part of APA Group, acquired Direct Link for 133 million United States dollars. In December 2008, ownership of Direct Link as well as Marilink was transferred to the Energy Infrastructure Investments Group, while the APA Group continued as the operator. The ownership of EII is APA with 19.9%, with the balance with Japan-based Marubini Corporation with 49.9% and Osaka Gas with 30.2%. In 1996, two new electricity generating entities were split off, Delta Electricity and Macquarie Generation. In 2000, the remaining power stations were transferred to a new entity, Erraring Energy, and the consulting business Pacific Power International was sold to Connell Wagner. Pacific Power was wound up in 2003. Topic privatization The privatization of the state's electricity assets proposed in 1997 began a long running controversy which extended into the 21st century. 
On 14 December 2010 Christina Keneally Labour government sold the first tranche of the partial privatization of the state's electricity assets for $5.3 billion. In January 2011, eight of the directors of the Delta Electricity resigned in protest over the proposed sale of trading rights to the output of generators. After criticism of the privatization plans, the government abandoned further electricity privatization. Also, there were no bidders. The Keneally Labour government was soundly defeated at the 2011 state election held on 26 March, suffering a overall swing of over 16% in May 2012. The O'Farrell Liberal government passed legislation to sell the state owned generators. In July 2013, Energy Australia acquired from Delta Electricity Wallarawang and Mount Piper Power Stations for 160 million Australian dollars. In November 2014, Energy Australia announced that it would permanently close Wallarawang due to ongoing reduced energy demand, lack of access to competitively priced coal and the power station's high operating costs. In September 2014, the government sold Macquarie Generation to AGL Energy for $1,505 million, including the Bayswater and Liddell Power Stations. In April 2015, AGL announced that it intends to close the Liddell Power Station in 2022. The remaining asset of Delta Electricity, the Vales Point Power Station, which has a maximum capacity of 1,320 MW, 1,770,000 horsepower, was sold in November 2015 to Sunset Power International for $1 million. During the 2015 state election, the Mike Baird Liberal government campaigned on a controversial plan to lease 49% of the state owned electricity distribution network, known as the poles and wires for 99 years. The government's plan involved the lease of 100% of high-voltage distributor Transgrid and majority stakes in Ausgrid and Endeavor Energy, which together cover local distribution in metropolitan NSW. Country-based essential energy was not part of the proposal. Labor, supported by the state's union movement, ran on an anti-privatization platform. The plan enjoyed significant support, including from business groups seeking lower electricity prices, such as the Energy Users Association, the Business Council and the Australian Industry Group, and by transport lobby groups Infrastructure Partnerships Australia and the Tourism and Transport Forum. In addition, a number of senior Labour figures came out in support, including former Prime Minister Paul Keating, former NSW Treasurer Michael Costa, and former Federal Resources Minister Martin Ferguson. Following the election, former Labour Premiers Bob Carr and Morris Yemma and former Labour Treasurer Michael Egan added their voices in support. Full privatisation of poles and wires also had the support of Australia's Productivity Commission. The plan was opposed by Labour, the Greens, the Shooters and Fishers and a number of unions. The plan also polled poorly and attracted little support on the ABC's Vote Compass site. In December 2015, a consortium called NSW Electricity Networks won a 99 year lease of Transgrid's transmission network for $10.3 billion. In October 2016, Australian based IFM Investors and Australian Super acquired 50.4% interest in a 99 year lease of Ausgrid for $16 billion. On June 2017, an Australian led consortium of institutional investors acquired 50.4% ownership of the rights to management Endeavour Energy's network assets under a 99 year lease. The consortium is led by Macquarie Infrastructure and Real Assets Mira, and includes AMP Capital, British Columbia Investment Management Corporation and Qatar Investment Authority.